When it comes to moving, inserting, or copying text from one part of the document to another part, or either into a new document altogether, it's really simple. For example, if I want to insert some text, like down here where it says, that statement begs two questions, how about if we say, that statement begs us to ask two questions. So if I come in here and click after S, hit the space bar, us to ask. When you just start typing, as I mentioned in an earlier training video, it just starts pushing over or scrolling over the text in front of the cursor here. So that's how you can insert your text or words there. Just click in there and start typing. Next, if you want to move some text around, like let's say I want to move this line here down below in between these two paragraphs. First of all, you have to select it, and that can be done by either clicking and dragging to select it, or come over here as we learned in the previous training video until your pointer turns into an arrow pointing to the right, and then click on it, and it'll select that line. Okay. Once you select it, there's two ways you can move the text. One way is to cut it, and after you cut it, it'll be on the clipboard, and then you can come down here and paste it. So to cut it, you can either come up here on the Home tab to the clipboard group, and then click on the pair of scissors. Of course, you can use the shortcut keys, Control X, as you can see on that little pop-up window, or you can go ahead and right-click in the selected area, and then come down here and left-click on Cut. When you cut it, it disappears. It's on the clipboard. And the clipboard is up here on the Home tab in the clipboard group, and we'll talk about that in the next training video, but we don't need to see it right now. Just know that it's there. Then I can come down here and click on another line, and then to paste it, there's many ways you can paste it. You can, of course, right-click. And I usually tell my students that when it comes to using Word, if you're in doubt, right-click, because nine times out of ten, it seems like that you'll get your solution here. So if you right-click, you get a shortcut menu of the different features like cutting, copying. Here's the paste options, and you can hover over these to see what options you get. When you paste it, you can keep the source formatting. So in other words, where we cut it from, if the source was bold and in red, it would keep that formatting. Or the next option is to merge into the formatting. So if the formatting down here that we're pasting it into has a different color, like green, it'll merge that into that type of format. So the text that we paste in there will be merged in with the color green. And then last but not least is keep text only. So we don't have to deal with formats. Just go ahead and click on that. And there we go. We inserted the line down there that we just cut from up above. Now I'm going to go ahead and undo that. I can come up here and click on the undo button and then it undoes the paste, click on undo again, and it puts it right back up at the top before we cut it. Another way you can move your text is to go ahead and select it. Let's do another one. Let me click and drag and select this sentence here. And if I want to move that, let's say to the top or down below, doesn't matter here, you get the idea of what I'm trying to show you. Just go ahead and select it, hover your pointer in the middle of the selection, and then click on it, hold your left mouse button down, and then drag. And notice when I drag it, you see that little line that when I move up the arrow, it goes long and it goes from word to word or it, you know I can move it to the beginning of the sentence. When you let go of the mouse that's where the uh, sentence that I have selected is going to be dumped in too. So if I let go, boom, it puts it right there. Click and drag, put it down here, puts it there, click and drag, put it up here, you get the idea. Let me hit undo a couple of times to put it back to uh, where it was originally. Now if you don't want to move your text but you want to copy it from one location to another, then again select your text and you can either right click on it and go up to copy or you can come up here on the home tab to the clipboard group and click on the copy button or you can use the shortcut key control C for copy in any case I'll just click it right here once it's copied there's no dancing clown that comes out and says hey you're copying you just have to trust that you have it now on the clipboard and again here's the clipboard let me go ahead and click on it to expand it it's sitting right here you don't need to see it to know that it's there it's, it's sitting there let's say in another place waiting for you to paste it somewhere. So it had to copy it somewhere and say, wait here until I'm ready for you. So now it's sitting on the clipboard. Let's go ahead and paste it. Well, I don't know. We can go ahead and scroll down and paste it right here with the right click. Or you can use the shortcut keys. Control V as in Victor. That will paste it as well. But when you right click, you get three different pasting options as we just went over. Okay. Let me just go ahead and click here and do Control V as in Victor to paste it. And it pastes it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo. Now I want to show you that not only can you copy it and paste it within the same document, but you can actually paste it into another document, either a new blank document or another document that you created. Let's go ahead and open up another document that we created. That's in my exercises folder on my desktop. By coming up here, clicking on the file tab, going down and clicking on open, and I'm going to go to my desktop in the navigation pane, and then come over here, because on my desktop in the main window, I've got all these folders, it's in my exercises folder. Let me go ahead and select it and click open. I say double click. 
But if you're not fast enough when you double click, you click once, and then you try to click again, then the Windows operating system says, ah, you're too slow. I think you're trying to rename the folder here, so you got to be faster than that. So you wouldn't want to double click on the name if you're not fast enough, but just go ahead and select the folder here, and then click open, or better yet, just go ahead and double click on the folder, because if you're too slow, at least you don't get into that option here where it thinks that you want to go ahead and rename the uh, name of the folder. So I'll just double click on the folder. It opens up the folder, and we want to open up within the folder. Well, we got a bunch of my spiffies. Let's go ahead and open up the my spiffy document that was created in Word 2010. How do you know? Well, you got that little extension there, the extra X, where this one doesn't have it. Let's go ahead and select it and click open, and there we go. Once it's opened, I can come down here at the end of the document, hit enter a couple of times, and go ahead and paste it. Now, I don't have to go back and copy it again because it's still on the clipboard. How do I know? Because, well, one way to find out is by clicking on the clipboard to see if it's still there, and it, and it is, okay? Let me go ahead and close out. Another way to find out is that the paste option, the feature here, is highlighted. It's not faded like these other icons here, and the reason why it's faded is because we have nothing selected. If this was faded, that means that we have nothing on the clipboard. So it's still sitting there. We can go ahead and paste and paste until the cows come home. Moo. Anyways, we can go ahead and right-click and go to Paste, and right-click and go to Paste, another uh, Paste option, right-click. I mean, you've got four different options here. You can use the destination theme, if there's a different theme going on, and we'll talk about themes in a later training video, or the other three that we just covered. You can keep the source formatting from the original document. If there's any formatting applied to it, like different colors or different font types, and then you can merge it into the formatting that's in this document, there's no difference between the two documents when it comes to formatting, so really this is just all the same. And then keep text only, but like I said, you can just click here and go Control-V as in Victor, Control-V as in Victor, paste, paste. So it'll always be on that clipboard until you copy something else and paste it, in which case you'll have something else on the clipboard, or you close out of the document, of course, and then it resets it, so your clipboard is empty and we'll talk about that in the next training video. And then notice after I paste it, you get this little, what's called a smart tag, your paste options. So you can click on that drop down arrow and you get the same paste options that you get when you go ahead and you wanna right click, it's up here. So if you go ahead and use the shortcut key and you paste it, or you just come down here and you right click and you use one of the options, it still gives you the uh, smart tag option again in case if you're like, eh, I don't like that. Let me click on the drop down arrow and choose another one. Because again, when you're dealing with formatting, you're either copying the formatting from one document, pasting it into another, or you're pasting it into the formatting of another document. So you can choose from these uh, formatting options what formats that you want to keep when you paste your text from one document into another, or even within the same document, okay? And then if you want to get rid of that smart tag, because sometimes that does get in the way, like there's text down below and I can't see it, I'm like, oh, good grief, how do I get rid of that? You can't click off in a blank area because it's still there, so I go ahead and just hit the space bar, do something else. Hit the space bar, type in a letter, then hit the backspace. It gets rid of that little uh, smart tag that can be very annoying if you're trying to see something else that it's popping up over. Let me go ahead and close out of this document. I'm not going to save it. Let's do don't save. Back to my original document here. One last thing I want to show you is what's called a paste special. It's more than just simply copying and pasting. For example, if I want to go ahead and let's copy uh, this sentence right here, select it first, then go ahead and hit the control C, the two keys, the shortcut keys for copying, or you can right click the selection, go to copy K. And then when you right click on a selection, you want to hold your mouse still because if you're right clicking and moving, it thinks that you want to move or copy it to another location, which, hey, there's another way of moving and copying your text, but instead, hold your mouse still and right click and you get a different set of menu options well at least down here some of the options are the same like copying when you right click and you're moving your mouse at the same time so hold your mouse really still then right click and you get this option if you move it and right click you get a different set of uh, shortcut options okay so right click go ahead and copy and then I'm gonna open up a new blank document click on the file tab go down to new come over here double click on blank document and instead of doing a regular paste you know, like right-clicking and pasting it here. There are more paste options. So let me click off in a blank area. And that's found by coming up here on the Home tab to the Clipboard group, clicking on the Paste drop-down arrow. And there we go, Paste Special. Click on that. And what kind of special paste are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing what's called a paste link. And that means that it's going to take the text, paste it in there, but it's going to be like a hyperlink. So I'm going to select a word hyperlink, and you can read the results down below that not only is the text pasted, but when somebody clicks on that text, it'll take them back to that other document that it'll be linked to. That's what a hyperlink is. It's linking. 
So select paste link, do a word hyperlink, click OK, and we have the text there. So if somebody says, hmm, what document is this coming from? I want to learn more. Then go ahead and hover over it, and you can see that little pop-up that says, if you want to go to that other document, hold down the control key and click the left mouse button. Well, it doesn't say left mouse, but that's what it means. Do a left click, hold down the control key. When I hold it down, you can see that the pointer turns into a finger. And when you see that, that means when you click, it'll go ahead and open up that document. Now Microsoft says, okay, we're not sure this document you're opening is safe. Well, come on, it's my document. I created it, so I'm fine with it. Do you want to continue? Say yes. It takes me right to that document where I copied and pasted the text from. Why would you want to use that? Well, if you want to do some referencing or, you know, if you have a document full of recipes and you have some that you want to briefly mention, but if somebody wants to learn more about it and read the recipe in full, then go ahead and create a link to it. Go to that other document, copy it, come in here, paste just a few words. But when you paste it, do a paste special into a hyperlink. So all they have to do is go ahead and click on it and boom, opens up and they can go ahead and print off the recipe or read more about it there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.